Hello and welcome to the Saturday practice review for the 2019 Bahrain Grand Prix. This session is pretty much irrelevant overall because it it takes place during the day. But even so, we saw an exciting session with lots of intrigue. Now let's just take a look where we are, what the Drivers and Constructors Championship looks like and who won the first race of the season. The Bahrain International Circuit this weekend hosts round two of the 2019 Formula One World Championship with teams of drivers arriving in the Island Kingdom to tackle the first night race of the season. It's the 15th Bahrain Grand Prix and we come here with Valtteri Bottas leading the World Championship. 26 points, 25 for victory in Australia and he also got the fastest lap bonus point on his first race win of the season and indeed Abu Dhabi 2017. Lewis Hamilton second on 18 points, Max Verstappen third, giving Honda their first podium since 2008. A brilliant achievement for them. Vettel and Leclerc though for Ferrari fourth and fifth, they have got so much margin to beat considering their pre-season form was so strong they didn't deliver when it came to Australia. Then it's Magnussen, Hulkenberg, Raikkonen and Stroll and on his return Danny Kibia picked up one point in the Drivers' Championship. In the Constructors' Championship, Mercedes lead the way on, ironically, 44 points, but it wasn't number 44 that got them in. It was Valtteri Bottas, number 77, who got them their first win of the season. Scuderia and Ferrari are exactly half points back on 22. Aston Martin Red Bull Racing on 15, Rich Energy Haas F1 on 8, Renault F1 on 6, Alfa Romeo on 4, then it is the Racing Point team on two, and Toro Rosso on one. McLaren and Williams yet to score points. Well, we start in Australia, as you know, Valtteri Bottas and Victoria's there. We're at the Bahrain Grand Prix this week. Two weeks, and it's race number 1,000, the Chinese Grand Prix at Shanghai. Then it's the last Asia race in Azerbaijan before the European season starts in Spain and Monaco. A brief trip over to the Americas for the Canadian Grand Prix, then France, Austria and the British Grand Prix in mid-July will be the halfway point of the season. Along with Germany and Hungary for the summer break, Belgium, Italy then the flyaways in Singapore, Russia, Japan and the Americas, Mexico first this year, USA, Brazil and all rounding out in December the 1st in Abu Dhabi. So Valtteri Bottas comes into Bahrain as the championship leader. A disappointing Friday for the Mercedes with Ferrari taking FP1 and double stacking in FP2. Vettel and Leclerc were fastest overall yesterday. And as you come into Saturday, that didn't change. Charles Leclerc was fastest at 129.569 from uh, Sebastian Vettel second. One and a half tenths off the pace though, 129.738. But still, seven tenths, the gap between... Uh, Leclerc and Hamilton so it is a very very close run not much happened in the third practice session I was at Sky Race Control Megan was uh, commentating on the session as well so I had the uh, app open with the driver tracker and the uh, pit lane channel and all that so really I do love having that feed every now and then when Megan takes over in the commentary box but I was able to see so much more than uh, anything else and if you do have Sky Sports F1 download the Sky Sports app and you can watch the pit lane channel the onboards and the live timing and all that lot. It is a cracking v way to view Formula 1 but there wasn't really that much to happen in that session uh, there was a bit of debris down at Turn Number 8 he kept being picked up by the marshals brave marshals around the circuit running out to this type of racetrack so quick and fast but uh Antonio Giovinazzi had a problem again with the water pressure. Nothing, nothing really that they could do. It cost him about 10 minutes. But it was a pretty clean session throughout. Which, yeah, all right, it's good. But I uh, still don't like how it's going to be a problem this weekend if they can't get it fixed after a whole night working on it. But nothing really happened in the third practice session. But at least we got to see that finally Ferrari seemed to have upped their game and really have delivered ahead of qualifying. Mercedes then seven tenths off and even to Bottas eight tenths off the pace. It is showing that finally Ferrari have got some pace at this circuit. They had a 1-2 here last year uh, in qualifying with Vettel starting from Raikkonen on row one and Mercedes dumped to row two. What are we going to see today? So let's take a look at how they lined up in the times for the third practice session. So Charles Leclerc tops the third practice session on 129.569. Sebastian Vettel second on 
Lewis Appleton third at 130.334. Bartu Bottas fourth at 133.89. Roman Grosjean completes the top five at 130.818. Nika Hulkenberg is sixth at 139.10. Lando Norris is seventh at 139.55. Max Verstappen eighth at 139.59. Followed by Carlos Sainz at ninth at 139.65. And Danny Kvyat rounding out the top ten 131.173. On a 131.333, Kimi Raikkonen goes into 11th. Pierre Gasly is 12th on a 131.392. Kevin Magnussen 13th on 131.540. Lance Joel 14th on a 131.618. Teammate Sergio Perez 15th on a 131.638. Followed by Daniel Ricciardo 16th on 131.643. Alexander Albon is 17th on a 131.679. Antonio Giovinazzi 18th on 132.132. Followed by George Russell 19th on 133.387. And Robbie. Keep it to 20th of 135.25. So Ferrari fastest overall here on Saturday in practice. What will that be for qualifying? Let's give you the coverage details for the remainder of the weekend. So we're back tomorrow at 2 o'clock UK time for the Sunday race preview. I'll have all the highlights of qualifying as well. Lights out is at 4.10 UK time. And you can watch the Grand Review on YouTube or download as a podcast on SoundCloud on Wednesday. And don't forget that qualifying gets underway in half an hour from the point of watching this at 3 o'clock UK time. It's going to be an epic weekend and qualifying should make it even more exciting. Will it be Ferrari on pole? The question is which one? My money is on Charles Leclerc. Bye for now. <laughs>